Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you how to make ginger chicken noodle soup. First off, I am just going to be cutting up carrots. The recipe calls for three medium carrots, but my carrots were kind of on the smaller side, so I just went ahead and had four. Then you get one pound skinless, boneless chicken breast halves cut into one inch pieces. So I'll be cutting them in. I didn't really measure, I just kind of cut them into bite sized pieces. Okay, then you're supposed to have a Dutch oven to cook the chicken, but I don't have a Dutch oven, so I just use this big saucepan. But you're supposed to, in a Dutch oven, cook chicken half at a time in hot oil just until browned. Then you're supposed to drain all fat and then return the chicken to the Dutch oven. But I didn't feel like I had any fat, so I didn't do that step. But after that, you add in chicken broth. You will have three 14 ounce cans of reduced sodium chicken broth. Then you will add in your carrots. And your chicken was supposed to already be in there. I forgot to put it back in there. But um, if you are like me and forgot to put in your chicken, add your chicken. Then add in one cup of water. Add two tablespoons of rice vinegar. and then one tablespoon reduced sodium soy sauce. Then you are going to want to grate two to three teaspoons of fresh ginger, or you can use a half to three fourths a teaspoon of ground ginger if you don't have any fresh ginger. And then one fourth of a teaspoon of black pepper, or in my case, a few shakes. Then bring to boiling. After that, you're going to reduce heat, cover, and simmer for 20 minutes. After the 20 minutes of simmering, you're going to add uncooked noodles to soup. Then return to boiling, reduce heat, and simmer uncovered for 8 to 10 minutes or until noodles are tender. Then 
then you're supposed to be add the pea pods for the last two minutes of cooking time but my grocery store did not have pea pods frozen pea pods so i just use regular peas <laughs> You can also make this in the slow cooker. I will leave the directions in the description down below. But this turned out really good and my husband and I both really enjoyed it. You can add in additional soy sauce if you like, if desired. Um, I put some in mine because I just really love soy sauce, but my husband didn't and he enjoyed it without the soy sauce. But it makes five one and a half cup servings. Alright, thank you for watching.